We're back with more coffee talk. I'm hoping I don't mess up any drinks today. It was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> oh, good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm, do you have any blood? Mm, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. <laughs> nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Uh, ginger green tea. He wants it very warm and bitter. So I think... That's right, maybe? We'll see. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you liked it. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work. Yeah, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? <laughs> Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se. But it's definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But it's on his... on his profile. We saw it. Yeah, professional model. Part of Los Angeles agency, old enough, yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. <laughs> you have the looks and the figure, so I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire model. <laughs> we are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age. Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. <laughs> wow. He's very impressive. Good evening. Could you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? 
We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. What is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. He's been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in a need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah, I need to take it slow tonight. Okay. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet. Hmm. Sweet and memorable. Mm. No coffee, she said. It definitely needs a honey, I think. We could try green tea, honey, and ginger. No, that's too bitter. Warm and sweet without coffee. Mm. Maybe just extra honey. Or maybe cocoa. to be the green tea or the this tea maybe tea tea lemon sweet Also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Um, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Mm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough, tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> That's a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, and even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is we're all, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. <laughs> That's what fiction's for anyway. Painting the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Aw. I got deep real quick though. <laughs> Hi everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. 
and hide please meet Lua. Hi. <laughs> Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need an escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? Oh, I thought they broke up. To be honest, we haven't touched we haven't talked much since this since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Oh, press the wrong button. Oh, Freya, favorite thing is coffee, coffee, coffee. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman and Har Harukami. So there's that. What I'm doing with my life? Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better. Talk to people who have more have experienced more than you and get paid for learning things. Ah, I like that. Green tea latte. So, green tea. Milk, milk. I really want to try and do the leaf, but I really can't make any promises. This is so bad. I feel like I could still save it. Maybe. Oh, this is so terrible. I should never be a barista. Looks kind of cool. Hopefully it doesn't need to look like anything. Something groovy for your coffee. I think I think that's good enough. That's as good as it's gonna get. Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why. But I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink really feels heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about it. Who's this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? <laughs> Bailey's is, or was, I don't know, my boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm. The usual racial problems then. Show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's all right. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close and usually they're supportive. When it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like, like a peasant. Bailey's on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like Mosaki Bai, I know. 
How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years, that was without familial approval, right? Well, yeah. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yeah. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. Yeah. <laughs> problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family think? Just marry him, make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his, his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes, no, maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for a racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. <laughs> Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't leave him. I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish because I can't do the same for him. Mm. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're focusing your boy, you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are, not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? I feel like this would be so awkward. Just be sitting in between them while they're fighting? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. He's being so rude. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> what a jerk. I mean, it's good advice. But also, like, it felt very blunt. Could have been delivered better. You are super harsh, old man. Exactly. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... <laughs> like, you, the problem is he's not wrong. You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. The gala? Oh, there he is. Yay! Good evening, everyone. Hey, gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Say the facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Yeah. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine. Let me write this down. 
ginger, caffeine. Here we drink. Yeah. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yeah. Tea, ginger... I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. So it has to be... Did you say tea? Yeah, tea. Tea, ginger. soothing. Ginger honey tea. Uh, oh no, I got an achievement that said pardon me for the mistake. Here's your drink, sir. Hmm. I'm 100% sure this is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. It's okay. Oh no. I'm more interested in the story anyway. Should it have been ginger tea and coffee? Maybe, because he said caffeine. Oh. I'm more interested in the story anyway. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. <laughs> All right, so there's this girl. <laughs> to gossip and that's about it hide oh hide you never change do you oh both of you are going to judge me for being honest now dude honesty is good and all but you know try not to be a dick <laughs> listen to her hide she's got a good point Ugh. not you too I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today, you might be right. But there are better ways to say what I, what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. staring at me like that nothing what did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here i was just bored and that's the surest way to make you come out seriously i thought the story from freya was enough to fill your daily dose of interaction well it was something indeed <laughs> hmm you said something about being my friend for years yeah why do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, B. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. Hmm. Being friends with Gala has like made him kind of a better person, I think. You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? <laughs> sure. Cocoa Bee Maruku. Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate. 
Ooh. It's always raining. Saturday, September 26th, 2020. The evening whispers. Atlantic County's plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Opinion. Who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on earth. Research has proven. Yes. There's research. There's research. <laughs> All right, let's check our phone here before we... Lua. try to read this but I would totally butcher it so maybe I'll look up a translation so the first sentence is your soul is a chosen landscape yeah I'll have to like translate this on my own time hmm Favorite things, lover of the bright moonlight, believer in a life without fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. Working nine to five in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends, enraptured, enraptured by the forbidden fruit. I guess that was the only one. Sir, ah, the usual earthling just linguistic. Ah, I can't read today. Linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything, anything, anything. I guess this is like a moment to experiment. Maybe coffee with, ooh. with cinnamon and and uh, milk mm, maybe not milk cinnamon and honey little cinnamon sticks your drink is ready sir i hope it's to your liking don't worry it will not matter to us okay let us drink this <laughs> what <laughs> yes oh nothing okay <laughs> um excuse me sir yes why did you put your finger in the drink that is a very strange question we are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh yes, of course. 
we almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Okay. <laughs> Usually a polypurifling drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Oh, I guess like a, like a straw? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on your planet. Anyway, how did you... <laughs> How do you drink with a straw? The same way we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthling's decision-making processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. <laughs> Affirmative. By the way, you just said you, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then... Read... So you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Yeah, I mean, they're not wrong. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. <laughs> Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We're using this technique, this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although, the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. I've never heard about... Wait, are you talking about a dating app? The system used a fire symbol as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Um, and when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to the various to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different interpretations of time. You are right about that. That is very correct. Good evening, miss evening would you like to order something cafe latte please okie dokie coffee milk milk so 
So that guy is like an alien? Oh, we're doing it. We are gonna do some some art here. like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But, is your name Urukai69? Oh my god. Is this guy Thane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Uruk Hai 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I've never used and I never use uh Uruk Hai 69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. No. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we do not have any friends on Earth. Hmm. Um, okay. When you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about, sp about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means a big chance she's not coming. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. <laughs> if she did reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? 
the most complicated strategies in fact. Your kind never ceased to amaze me. If, there, if that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you'd like. No, oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please just call me B. Thank you for your time, B. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way, the uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care on your way. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird and kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Is Freya coming in? Yeah! Oh boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. Was... What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for the friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Lake at the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut shoot suit first before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. What What do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions? I don't know. Wow. Like super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but wow. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yeah, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Uh. Mm, she's shy. I want to read it. What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you're planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first predictable, presentable draft, anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Um, it's okay, Freya. Mm, here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Oh, I'm excited for her. How was it? How was it? Let me read it on my own pace, okay? <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is, it, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. <laughs> you have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example, you. You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. <gasps> Cute! Oh my god. She's like a little mermaid. Oh my god. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm. Is it okay to order if order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like, as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? 
The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Uh... Spices would be cinnamon. Is ginger considered a spice? I'm just gonna look this up because like I don't want to mess it up. Okay, yeah, so it, it is ginger. I hope I got it right. Hmm. I'm sure it has a similar smell. Let's give it a taste. This is weird. I can sense the ingredients are correct, but it tastes different. If that's the case, I can pro I probably put the wrong quantities of ingredients in. Which one did you prioritize? Ginger or cinnamon? I did cinnamon. Ah, that's the key. Ginger should have been the primary one. Do you want me to fix the drink for you? It's okay. Thank you. Okay, so let me write that down also. So masala chai. Is tea. Ginger cinnamon. Just for like next time so I don't like mess it up again. So I don't know what happens if I keep messing up drinks. Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. The reader knows me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds very it sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yeah, sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey. Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book, if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer. But conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What, what do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is B. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks! You said you can't write. But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. It's... but it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my. I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for, fl for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Um... What do you do in the project? 
I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask you for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. The Full Metal Complex series you two are talking about. Is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium, and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. <laughs> You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence a lot of the players are not gamers. They're more accessible to play but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Uh, sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of artsy hipster, you know? <laughs> Nailed it. So you understand my point of view? My, my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I, need, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine, and of course it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, B. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. Oh, the squishy sound is kind of weird though. So, yeah? That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you are reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to just have a list of notes for you? Yes, really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? <laughs> Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short, and I will be really honest about it. <laughs> well, the night is young, bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Neat! This game's getting really good. When I was looking up to see if there was like a translation of um, Lua's profile somewhere, I saw that the game has like multiple endings. So I don't know if I want to like replay this like every time and get all of them maybe in my free time um and i'll like go through like how to i'll like see how to get them and uh, maybe i'll record just just the endings um, and like put them into a like a another a whole video for themselves but i think i just want to take a minute drink some water whole lot of talking apparently this is like a visual novel it's like makes a lot of sense but it's also like a lot of talking <laughs> i'm not used to it 
evening whispers. Research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Profile Morris Lester from Slum to Glam. Pajama clan clad, pajama clad, 27 year old actuary found decapitated on his own bed. Oh my god. Alright, let's check her phone. We had her. Myrtle. Programmer working on Full Metal Conflict series. Oh, she changed her picture. Aqua. Oh my god, she has, like, is she like an octopus? Researcher by day, aspiring indie dev by night. reading this okay then i'll leave you with your whatever that is hmm. oh man oh aqua fancy seeing you again so soon hey hi freya hi b good evening miss aqua how are you two doing same old i'm good how about you i'm fine thank you and you I already asked that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and B. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she was coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. <laughs> that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right, I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. So tea, ooh, mint, lemon and cinnamon. Russian tea. That looks amazing. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian in the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Well, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spent too much time browsing the internet. Oh, did we get a... Maybe for Aqua? Yeah. A mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert. Tea lover. Oh. Yeah, Russian tea. Quite the name, it's a totally American drink. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. <laughs> Finished drinking for us, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left. I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. Why? I don't know. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, B. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Wait, why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? Mm, no, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know? my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. 
Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course, we are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. <laughs> How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway, I want to order something. You know, their espresso? You know, the usual. I don't know. She already had an espresso. Let's give her a tea. Will she be upset? I saw something online. No, let's just do the usual. Espresso's ready. Thanks. Bitter. Just the way I love it. Oh. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Mm. Uh, how can I help you, sir? Ah, oh, yes. Um, I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMG? MJ? So I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, uh, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Telor Madu Jahi. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. We could do, we could do milk, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, do you have eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add an egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. Okay, so that was... Milk, honey, ginger. Milk, honey, ginger. And then we add on the... Here's your STMJ. Let's see. Hmm. You almost got it right. I did exactly as he said. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Okay. STMJ. So that is milk. Ginger and then honey. But that's not the that's not like the order that he said it in, right? Yeah, milk, milk, honey, egg. Yeah, wait, milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Yeah. Mm. Noted. Don't worry about it though. I've traveled to so many places in the states. And none of them got the STMJ right. Mm, that's not very comforting. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. 
I see. <laughs> May I ask how old you are? Um, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, B. I just... Who is this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Hmm. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? <laughs> you mean him? Yeah, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh, I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. Who is Rachel? Oh, wait, yeah, she's... Yeah. That's Rachel. No wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and B. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel F Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? Flore Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late life's my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her straight for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Hey, Freya, I'll come with you. <laughs> really cute anyway what was it that you wanted to talk to me about it's about rachel the night when you drove her home was she hanging out with shady people well i think one of them was a bit shady hey i heard that what i'm not a criminal i'm just kidding she was in this coffee shop talking with freya and be here she wasn't in any danger are you sure? But what, what about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Hmm. It's just that I feel she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing I learned, give them time and space. There'll be time when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a stakeout. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat down with her. The pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> what if... What if she loves doing... What if... Wait. What if... What she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label. Not the media. Not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe? Hey, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Well, you can't just go find another manager. Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing, there's, sorry, there's really nothing much we can do. 
other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that, manager. If that will ease your mind. Please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. I did think it was familiar. Oh, I never read any of these. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Thank you for subscribing to our Fiction Plan free trial. You will have active subscription to our fiction plan and we'll start receiving your daily short stories tomorrow. Hope you provide, hope you enjoy the contents we provide. Oh, that's like when we started the game with Freya. Road trip. As if a double decker bus crashes into us, to die by your side is such a heavenly way to die. And if a 10 ton truck kills the both of us to die by your side well the pleasure the, the, the pleasure the privilege, the privilege is mine <sighs> Morris sees voice blasted from the old speaker of the car everyone in the car was singing along and by everyone I mean I was talking about me and her there was only the two of us two of us in an almost empty highway do you consider dying by my side to be a heavenly way to die? She asked after the song had finished, breaking the noisy silence of the car. That depends, I answered. Depends on what? On how we die. I'm sure having a mass psychopath slowly mutilating us while we're holding hands won't be a pleasant experience. Then what kind of demise would you consider a heavenly way to die next to me? Hmm, that's hard. I'm pretty sure I'd prefer something that's not too painful though. So, us dying of old age together would be your heavenly way for us to die? Hey, hold on. We just started officially dating yesterday. Don't plan too far. Ouch! What was that for? Meanie? <laughs> I was just joking. Besides, I'd rather think about a heavenly way to live with you right now. And have you found any answers to that? Look at me, and then close your eyes. What do you just do it? She closed her eyes. I leaned forward, getting close to her face. Then, for a moment, that felt like a hundred years we kissed. Oh, no. The speedometer was pointing to a hundred kilometers per hour, and the highway was almost empty. Almost. Ooh, ooh, that was spooky. Death drives. Death drives, but sometimes he commutes. What happens? When that happens, you know for sure, because his presence is clear all over the news. But still, mostly, death drives. I realized this fact after returning from a long trip to Tokyo I took recently. As usual, I drove to work every day thanks to the unreliable public transportation here. And I noticed that every day, my life is always on the line. No, not on the line as in we will eventually die and we don't know when. On the line as in we are all at war with everyone else. We are in war between pedestrians, cyclists, motorcycles, cars, and everything else on the road. And during all of that, death is either driving or sitting in the car seat next to us. Ever since realizing this, I started to drive more carefully. I drive as if my parents are sitting beside are sitting next to me and telling me to drive slower because I know death does not like reckless driving and he's not as forgiving as my parents. She's a really good writer. French kissing a cat. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Asked her dating app partner. Pretty bold question to ask on your first date, Akari thought to herself, and in the first hour as well. Are you sure you want to know the answer? She asked back. Definitely. I think it's, be I think it's the best icebreaker question, and it's also a good indicator. Indicator of what? Or how compatible we are and... And? Well, you know, I don't mean to offend you, but just in case your answer is, I cut someone into 12 parts and I, or I strangled my Tinder date till he died, it's an indicator that I will immediately run away. Fair enough. 
Akari's interest in this guy increased. Maybe, just maybe, he could handle her story. So, do you want me to go first? He asked. I'll go first, although it's more like a crazy hobby of mine. Not something I did just once so I could tell a story for the rest of my life. Color me interested. So, I love to kiss cats. That doesn't sound too crazy. I'm talking about lips to lips kissing. It's especially French. I love French kissing a cat. What? Her day responded without hiding his response. You never tried it? If you feel uncomfortable with kissing a male cat, you could always try doing it with a female one. Are you telling me you've kissed a female cat before? Both male and female. I'm pretty flexible. He didn't say anything, which was unsurprising considering such secrets were usually <laughs> revealed on a first date or ever for many people. It's not that bad, you know. Here, let me tell you about the first time I French kissed my cat. I was around 14, an age where most people feel curious about many... This is uncomfortable. I need to... I just... This is... What the fuck? In the cafe. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? God, no, I'm a dog person for God's sake. That's really weird. That was uncomfortable. Okay, I think I'm done with these short stories. They're good, but they are really weird. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I've just got a call. I've got to go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Mm. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career, it's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz, but things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. But... But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was, once a stubborn young, I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, B? Take all the time you need. Mm. He's just an old guy trying to understand his kid. Ginger latte, warm boost, warm energy boost, perfect for a cold evening. Monday, September 28th, 2020. Okay. I might read this and then call it because I gotta go make dinner. 
The Evening Whispers. Military personnel stationed along the East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. Werewolf representatives pushed the ministry for a more accessible sedative. Doctor from Salish Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Coffee Talk. I feel like we didn't... I feel like there was a lot going on with a lot of these characters. We, we met some new faces. Some have returned. I still messed up a lot of drinks. But I'm gonna take a note. Take a note. I'm gonna look up all of the endings so that I can kind of prepare for that. Um, and yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for walking, for watching. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to see some more. I have more Zelda content coming. I'm going to be continuing Breath of the Wild. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.